Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial we're going to, to create this kind of poster, like a movie poster. So I'll show you how to do that in Photoshop. First thing first, let's create a new document with this kind of size. And okay. Next we're going to add uh, the model. We're going to use the stock image. Okay, we're going to use this uh, model. You can find it in DeviantArt. And I already uh, prepared the uh, the cut background for a faster tutorial. So I'm gonna put this into the document. All right. So before you continue, you have to cut first and then put it right here, and yeah, like this. All right, and for the next, we're going to uh, brighten up this uh, model of a kid. All right, uh, and then using this clipping mask. Next, uh, we'll add vibrance to uh, desaturate a bit. Okay, looking quite good. And then next, uh, we're going to uh, make the background to be black. We can use image adjustment and invert. Okay, looking good. And maybe we need to cut this part by using a soft brush. So first add a layer mask and then click on a brush tool, right click and use a soft brush. Okay, and rise up the uh, opacity around 50 and we added a little bigger size. Oh, sorry, and the color has to be black to erase okay and then okay looking good to go next we're going to add the lighting effects first uh, we need to duplicate this layer and name it to lens flare and then we'll go to filter, choose render and lens flare. And pick this option and then click OK. Mm, actually we want to be the light right uh, behind this his palm, so I think we need to undo and go again to lens flare and this time maybe shift it a bit on the right and click OK uh, still not good OK one more time <laughs> render lens flare and maybe around here click OK alright now it's uh, looking pretty much great then maybe I need to shift this up, this up a bit OK on that kind of position and then we're going to recolor the light by using color balance. I activate its uh, clipping mask and then rise up the blue channel to make the light goes uh, has kind of blue ambient color. Hmm, that's looking quite cool. And then you might want to add more light to this uh, to this kind of magic. So we're going to create a new layer. Okay, whatever. New layer. Double tap on it. And rename it light. <coughs> and change the uh, mode to screen. And then we choose brush tool and. And yeah, use a uh, pale blue 
to add uh, more lighting effects here so with that brush give it more size and then just click click one time here Oops, oh sorry actually has to be right here and then click it one time yeah it, it looks more uh, maybe a uh, lower the opacity I feel it is just too strong okay the light now look looking more convincing okay for the next part we are going to add more effects for this light uh, what we're going to do is to uh, duplicate this what you need to do is to simply hold alt key and then drag it up so you are actually duplicating this layer but now change into cloud and then go to filter render clouds all right and you can toggle uh, i mean change the cloud texture by pressing ctrl f all goes here ctrl f okay you can choose whatever kind of cloud texture that you want and next we're going to give it a zoom effect uh, before that we're going to make it a little bit darker okay by using curves and then put this on the top of everything and then change the mode into screen and next um, <coughs> now give a blur radial blur to give uh, some kind of interesting effects maybe I want the amount to be 80 and click OK let's see how does it look wow no, it's a nice kind of effect but I think we need to move the the center point so simply using pick tool I mean move tool and then place it right there and to compensate this we need simply a uh, transform and pull the pull this down okay maybe you want uh, to uh, to reduce this kind of power things you can use image adjustment curves yeah I just want to reduce but also increase its contrast now it's looking even better maybe you want now to uh, to edit its color you can use hue and saturation I want it to match the light of the core of this light yeah maybe maybe that's enough alright I think we need to adjust the tone of this boy we need to go back to this layer and then choose color balance activate its uh, clipping mask and then rise up the blue channel so now we can see the boy has a more blended tone into the com composition Maybe I would like to reduce the vibrance too to make it more match to the overall tone. Yeah, I think it's looking better. And for the next part, we're going to 
give more highlight effects here on the on the boy's skin. What we need to do is to create a new layer and then name it overlay. Use a grip, create a clipping mask and then set the mode to overlay and fill this. I mean check this and click OK. Okay, we're going to add more highlights on his surface because there's a light, so logically there'll be more highlights over here. So we can do that by using dodge and burn on this layer. So let's just do that. Dodge and burn. Okay, it will take take time, but the result will be great. So simply uh, put more highlights on the surface that logically the light will uh, fall into. So I think here and maybe more on here and you can increase the size of the brush by using a bracket close bracket uh, button on your keyboard and over here oh, I think it's too much here uh, you can restore this uh, adjustment by using brush and go to the black uh, better using this one click this and then choose this black color and uh, fill this with 50 so we can go to a gray color and then we restore it okay why is it and then go back to dodge tool and redo it for a better result okay how does it look now oh yeah looking better right we're going to add another detail uh, for this magic so I'm going to use um, this kind of low exposure photographs of a lamb so okay just go ahead and open in Photoshop maybe a little bit cut here but we can fix that easily um, go to window range and just to a vertical and then we uh, move it here okay and then we need to resize it to a smaller version okay and then change the modes into a screen okay now maybe you have the idea what would we do next okay I use this as a some kind of particle of this magic to make it more dramatic okay and then I think we need to cut this because it looks like a disaster if you don't uh, erase that. So just go to burn tool and burn the edge of this to hide the hard edges. Alright, I think it's disappear now, the hard edges. Oh yeah, you can rename this into maybe particle.
and next maybe you want to edit its uh, tone using color balance raise the blue and this one too let's see if we use uh, UN saturation too to shift from green to blue I don't think it's a nice idea okay cancel it okay for the next step we're going to duplicate this to complete the particle circle so simply duplicate that by dragging this down on this new layer add the new layer and then uh, rotate it um, then move the anchor point to here to the core of the magic and then rotate and then position in any way you like maybe it looks like very mirrored so maybe you like you want to uh, resize it a bit okay let's zoom out for a while I think it's looking nice mm, I don't know it looks like a bit so forming some kind of circle maybe you want to move this to this previous layer before so now I think it's uh, quite okay and here comes the hard edge again so what you need to do is come back to burn tool and um, erase the hard edge part well I think it's gone already okay looking pretty interesting maybe you also want to add another effect by simply using this tool but first you need to duplicate them and then merge uh, right click and, and use merge layer and go back to screen what we need to do is to give a radial Blur. Mm, for this time, we use spin, and this is a little bit guessing to find the center of this one to make a perfect circle. Maybe the method need to be a little bit slower. I mean lower. Okay. Oh, I cannot see what is going on. I need to undo and we try the blur, radial blur. Maybe the amount is way too high. Maybe we would like to go a little bit very slow. I mean, very low. Sorry. Okay, eight maybe. Um, sorry, I think it's not really working much. Ah, here we go. Um. You can rotate this to create an interesting effect. Maybe you need to zoom out first. And then 3 transform and move the anchor point there and then rotate it. Well, you just, we just want to create a, some kind of another random effect there like a really fast moving particle and maybe we want to scale this up oops sorry I like to use this here yeah it's like a fast moving particle around the magic yeah it's look more uh, dynamic there maybe uh, we need to make a little bit darker to reduce some ambient light there. Reduce the ambience there and maybe rise the highlights. Mm, okay, maybe that's, that's it. 
can be changed to later dots, perhaps. Okay, looking more promising. Okay, that's it for the first part of this tutorial. So until then, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.